Hey guys, it's Carol here. Welcome back to my channel. This is my product empties video, products I've used up, makeup, skincare, whatever. So let's get to it. I'm gonna start with makeup. Um, I have a couple of mascaras here. One is the Maybelline Define a Lash Volume Mascara. Um, this is what it looks like, the tube. I really liked this when I used it. It was like the first plasticky type wand that I'd ever used. I would repurchase this. It really grabbed my lashes and it definitely defined each one. So it does a really great job of separating my lashes and elongating them too. So it just makes your lashes appear. Um, you can make it more of a natural effect if you'd like or you can make them more like bang, but not. it's not a voluminous mascara even though this is volume mascara. But it just does a really great job separating my lashes, so I would repurchase this. I like this a lot, so check it out if you like that, you know, really great separating type of mascara. Okay, then I have CoverGirl's Lash Blast Length Mascara Waterproof. Um, it's their yellow one here. I was intrigued by the wand. Looks like that. Um, didn't do much for my lashes. Barely even made them appear. It was almost like no product was, was getting on the wand, so really no product or not much product was getting on my lashes. Didn't do much at all for me. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this at all. This is Almay's, this is old, like these two were old too. Um, in the shade Light, it's their like um, blemish concealer, I guess. It's old, this is probably, God, I mean several years old. Um, I haven't used it in forever. I used to be prone to blemishes in my early 20s. I'm 29 now, I don't really have that problem anymore, so I haven't used this in forever. It was like gross. When I found it in my collection, I'm like, this is disgusting, I need to get rid of it, it's gross. But while I had it, it did a good job of covering my blemishes. It was creamy, um, but not too creamy, so it could cover them well and kind of just stay and not really budge. But Elmi does have nice um, products for like sensitive skin. Have a Neutrogena concealer here, the three-in-one -one concealer for eyes. It's the concealer eye cream in SPF 20, it looks like that little tube. Um, I used this for several years. Why I stopped buying it was um, two reasons, or three reasons. One, I was kind of sick of it, right? it's kind of like I got tired of it already. Two, it was too dark. Like I started wanting like a really nice um, brightening effect under my eyes. Um, so this wasn't really doing it. The color was just kind of like the color of my skin tone, which I didn't want. I wanted something um, a little lighter for that section three when you try to squeeze it out like way too much would come out all the time It was really annoying. So it was such a waste of product, but um It was sensitive for my under eye area, especially at a really sensitive time with my skin And it was creamy and things like that Um, but yeah, so I wouldn't repurchase this anymore. Mine was in the shade buff if you're wondering I don't even know if they still make this but and then this one mine was in the shade light I have this What is this? L'Oreal Color Riche and Eternal Mauve Lip Liner. Um, oh my god. This is old also. It's, I mean, did it stay on my lips? I don't even remember. I'm not going to repurchase this though. Um, I prefer, like my favorite lip liner from the drugstore right now is Rimmel's Exaggerate Lip Liners. Love those. It's like a twist up and all that. I'm not going to repurchase any of L'Oreal's lip liners. Not that I know of at least. I don't plan on it. This is Mary Kay's Signature Nourishine Lip Gloss. This is also old. This was in the color Cream and Sugar. Um, what was nice about this while I had it is that it smelled like, um, this is like, this doesn't smell anymore, but I think at the time it smelled like vanilla, like vanilla and sugar, which I love that. I'm a sucker for vanilla. Um, lasted me forever. This little tube felt really nice. Um, moisturizing and all that stuff. Now these are quite expensive. I, I think they're about $14. Mm, would it repurchase a gloss right now for four, not right now for 14 bucks and but they do have some really nice ones at this moment I wouldn't probably in the future I would but not right now I'm not in a rush to go get any more I've got Redkins all soft heavy cream super treatment for dry brittle hair um, looks like this it did have a nice thick thickening um, conditioner that's supposed to feel like a deep treatment or whatever. This is what, like 13 to 15 dollars or something. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this because I have one that's way cheaper and is better. I like it more. It's Neutrogena's Interpol Moisture Daily Deep Conditioner for extra dry, overprocessed, and color treated hair. I love this stuff. I really, really love it. I repurchased it several times. It smells good. I talked about it in my favorite, so I won't go into it a lot, but. 
definitely gonna repurchase this. I'm gonna get it the next time because I need, I need it again. So yeah, love it. I just love it, love it, love it. I have absolutely no disappointments with this at all. It's thick, makes my hair feel super soft, detangles it, all that kind of stuff. All right, got a bunch of these. Um, Y'all know, I'm not gonna go into much detail. I love these beauty bars, uh, the Sensitive Skin by Dove. Um, they have like moisturizing cream in there, about a fourth it says. Um, I've got four things here. I love to use these. Um, I use one for my face, which I really, really love. I can use it all over my face, including my eyes. I don't get any irritation. It even removes makeup and stuff like that. Um, but it's really sensitive for my skin and I like it on my body too, so I have like a separate one that I use. Moving on, I've got the Yes to Cucumbers. Hypoallergenic soothing. Um, they got an award. I'm not really sure why. Honestly, didn't work for me. They um, they didn't have a lot of moisture whatsoever. Didn't do a good job of removing my makeup. So there's really no point in me purchasing these because not only do they aren't are they not very mo like filled with the product like the the substance, you know what I mean? To like make your skin feel at least refreshed, but they don't remove my makeup either. So there's no point in buying these. Like, you know, there's some that I can wear like in the morning, you know, just to kind of refresh my face really quick. There's just no point. These weren't moistened enough. So I would never repurchase these cucumber ones. Unfortunately, I don't know if I got a bad bag or what. Some people like talked and recommended these and that's why I got them, but I was really disappointed because they didn't do anything for me. I've got ELF's Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloths. Comes with 20 of them, they're $3. I would repurchase these. My only complaint is that they're a little bit too thin, but they remove makeup very well. They don't irritate me whatsoever. I do have sensitive skin. They don't dry me out. I can wear them around my eyes or, you know, take off my eye makeup with them. No problem. I just wish they were thicker. That's it. Cheap, they work. I have here the Hill Country Essentials Makeup Remover. These are by like the HEB brand or whatever in Texas. Um, these are supposed to be compared to Pond's Original Clean. Um, wipes or whatever. I don't even remember what Pond's feels like, but let's talk about just quality and stuff like that. Would I repurchase these? No, because I want a makeup remover that's going to remove my makeup and be like refreshing and clean and all that kind of thing and just save me time. While these smell nice and clean like baby wipes, you know, back in the day, um, and give me a nice refreshing feeling and stuff like that. They don't remove my makeup very well. So there's kind of no point. Well, I shouldn't say no point, but I just would rather purchase wipes that are going to do both for me, you know, but they smell nice. If you are looking for something just to refresh your face or whatever, recommend them. They're nice for that. These right now are my Holy Grail makeup remover wipes. I have no complaint with them. They're cheap. They're about $4.99. You can even use coupons on them. Come with about, what, $25? They're filled with the um, product, so they're very moisturizing. They remove my makeup really easily, even my eye makeup. Um, I don't have to struggle or tug or anything like that. Never have irritated me. I have sensitive skin, never have dried me out. Always feel clean afterwards. Um, as long as I take off my makeup with these at night, I don't have a blemish. I don't have any problems. My skin feels really nice and you know, youthful and clean looking in the morning. Um, no complaints. I love them. I've repurchased these a billion times and I will continue to repurchase them. Tried this out. It's Sephora's um, Instant Moisturizer. Looks like this. It's supposed to be 95% uh, smoothed and replumped skin. And it's tw after 28 days of use. I've only used this for a week maybe or a few days less than that. Um, it feels very, very nice as I applied it. I don't know how much this costs or whatever like that, but I have been very pleased with some drugstore ones such as the Garnier. Um, they have like a gel, hydrating gel or something like that. It comes in a little tub. I mentioned it before. I like that. I don't remember how much it is. Somewhere between $10, $13 or something, and that comes with a lot of stuff. That for right now is probably what I'd be purchasing if I'm going to purchase a hydrating type of gel. But um, I don't know how much this costs. So if it's somewhere around that, I don't know, maybe for the winter, colder, colder months. Right now it's getting a little bit warmer where I'm living in Houston. So I'm not really needing that much like hydration or you know what I mean? So maybe in a winter time when it's cold, I, I might consider purchasing this. Okay, next I have the tiniest little sample that lasted me forever. Seriously, the award for the sample lasted me forever. Mary Kay's Indulge Soothing Eye Gel. Uh, it's just a little sample clearly, but 
It felt awesome. This kind of saved me when um, my eyes were feeling irritated, um, dry and stuff like that. Pulled this out. It feels really nice and hydrating. Um, doesn't irritate my eyes whatsoever. You know, I don't know how much this costs, but you know, it's nice and it is a soothing eye gel. So I don't know if you're, if you have a Mary Kay person and you have a catalog and you're like, what do I order? This is nice. I liked it. So and that's it guys. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram, Instagram, Instagram and Facebook, all kind of new. So I've only just started them in the last month or so. Oh, I have all that in the description box below. So just look below. Anyways, hope you guys are having an awesome um, Monday and I will see you guys on my social media outlets or I will see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Bye guys.